Hey, good morning, my little lambs. It's Mama Mimi. I uh, just come to give you um, a little more of an up, uh, in-depth update about my transition. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like really tired. It's 7.30 in the morning and um, I'm just getting home from work and everything because like I said in the last video, I work nights. So I work 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, and that's just something I started doing um, probably two weeks ago. So I'm still adjusting to the um, sleep schedule or the lack of sleep <laughs> anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, the job's going great. I really enjoy it. I work with some really good people. So, I mean, I guess it's worth it. Um, yeah, so, you know, I hope everything's going well in your world and in your lives. Um, let's see. Um, I know in the previous video, I had said that I had gotten, uh, my breast documentation done and I had gotten 800 cc's on each side um, with Dr. Robert Young in San Antonio, Texas. Um, okay, but I was wearing my um, Hello Kitty onesie, so you really couldn't see anything. So I just wanted to give you a look and, and uh, see where I'm at with my uh, breast documentation and stuff like that. Ooh, big old nails. I broke one off at work. Okay, but anyways, here we go. Yeah, so, like I said, oh, nip slip. Um, but, like I said, I'm a 38 triple D. And that's a little bigger than I had anticipated because I initially only wanted to go with 650 cc's. Uh, but uh, Dr. Young was insistent that I go with 800 and, you know, I'm happy that I did because I think if I would have went with the 650, then I wouldn't have been happy with them. Uh, and I would have probably had to have had them redone. Um, but, yeah, you know, I actually wanted a full C, uh, small D. But, you know, it's been going on two years since I got these done. And I'm really happy with them. I wouldn't change it for anything. Um... Like I said uh, before, um, it's been going on three years uh, since I started my transition. And, you know, it's the best thing in the world for me. Um, I couldn't be happier. Um, since HRT, it seems like my anger management issues because of um, being in Iraq and everything... Because, uh, you know, like some of you may know that I was in the Army for 12 years. I spent two tours in um, Iraq and everything. So I dealt with a lot of anger issues when I first came back and everything. And it took a couple of years and stuff. But like once I started HRT, started my transition, um, it's like I'm a lot calmer now than I used to be. And um, I think it was all because... You know, not only was I dealing with that, but I was also having to hide who I truly felt that I was and stuff. So, um, I think I'm a lot more at peace with myself, um, since I was able to start my transition. Um, oh goodness, I look horrible. But like I said, I've been working all night. So, hopefully one of these days I'll get around to making a video where I'm not either dog tired or at work in the middle of the night or something like that um i haven't gotten around to doing outfit of the day videos because my outfit during the day consists of what i've got on now tank top and pajama shorts because i sleep during the day and then for work i just wear jeans and a t-shirt um so you know i would, I'll eventually get around to it. Um, I'm off on Fridays and Saturdays, so I'll start trying to do, uh, like, outfit of the day on Friday or Saturdays, um, or possibly even Sunday, since I don't go to work until so late. Uh, that way I've had a chance to catch up on some sleep and, you know, 
communicate with people around me that I barely get to see even if even though we live in the same house um love life pretty much non-existent um not because I can't um I guess find anyone it's just I've been so busy I just haven't tried and you know if it's if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I mean I get I get messages all the time online and stuff but you know with my schedule I'm just either too busy or too tired to try to go out on dates with people and stuff so you know hopefully something will um, work out to where you know it's not all about work and sleep anymore um, not really sure what else to say right now because you know like I said I'm tired um but I did want to just uh touch up um okay with my HRT I'm still doing um the estradiol valerate uh intramuscular injections I do uh 20 milligrams every two weeks and um I also take 300 milligrams of the spironolactone per day um, I mean, it seems to be working pretty well. Um, yeah, but that's about it. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to sign off now because I'm getting really tired and really flustered because I'm not sure what to talk about right now. Um, but I will talk to you soon, my little lambs.